Hello everyone, I'm Dorothy Patterson, Work Readiness Instructor, and welcome to The Comfort Zone. Previously, I had spoke about how I noticed that the mindset had changed in my workshop with my participants. It was shifting towards negativity. Every day, we get on Zoom, and someone will talk about some misfortune, some tragic event. I wanted to shift it back to positive thinking. So I decided to explore positive thinking, okay? So first of all, the definition of positive thinking. Positive thinking is a mental and emotional attitude that focuses on the bright side of life and expects positive results. First I wanna say is that life is life and everyone cannot be happy and cheerful at all times. The whole idea of positive attitude is knowing how to cope with those events when they occur in a more productive and positive way. So I also um, talked about the six traits of positive attitude. Optimism, acceptance, resilience, gratitude, consciousness, and integrity. So now I want to talk about the outcomes of a positive. What are the benefits of having a positive attitude? Studies have shown that it increased lifespan. It also lowers rates of depression. Also lowers levels of distress. And people with a positive attitude, studies have shown, have a better cardiovascular health situation. They're less likely for heart attacks, strokes, and other heart complications. So not only in your personal life a positive attitude is beneficial, but also in your professional life. Other studies have shown that happy employees are more productive. They get more done. They enjoy their work. They also are less likely to show job withdrawal, lateness, absenteeism, and just basically acting out at work. Happier employees also make more money because they're the ones that will get promotions. Happier people are also more creative. They come up with new concepts, new ideas to um, enhance an organization. They're also evaluated more positively and lastly they're easier to work with. They're pleasant. A positive attitude can have great benefits for the organization, leaders, and for the, all the employees. So next time we're going to talk about tips on how to keep a positive mindset in life and work. Thank you. Thank you.